So, you know when you purchase something, I went and purchased the brand new Hero 11 Black. And now I'm actually using my Hero 9 Black to review my Hero 11 Black. So that's what we're gonna do today. So if you don't know what the difference is between a 9 and an 11, I'm gonna tell you a few things. So stay tuned, grab some food, and enjoy. Let's, uh, I don't really like this location, so let's switch it up. Okay, so welcome to a brand new video. My name is Casey and I am going to be reviewing the GoPro Hero 11 that I've just gone and got myself as a, uh, as a late birthday treat, as they may say. So I know what you're thinking. So, but you have the 9 black, why did you go for the 11? And so I could have gone for the 10, I could have downgraded, you know, I could have just waited and waited and waited until they brought out more GoPros in the line, the 12, 13 and 14, if they, start, if they decide to go for that route. But I thought I'd go for the GoPro Hero 11 because because it's, a, it's probably one of the best action cameras out there today. And I'm gonna to talk to you about it and I'm gonna tell you why I went for it and hopefully you might be inspired to pick up a GoPro or an action camera yourself. So despite the fact that, you know, GoPros, loads of people have different opinions on them. I personally, I love the GoPro. So this is my brand new Hero 11 Black. And I know what you're thinking, but doesn't it come with the standard blue battery? It's in my pocket. Well, no, it does not. It comes with the Enduro battery. So the GoPro Hero 11 comes standard with the Enduro battery. So for people out there that are, are skiing, are snowboarding, and are doing all this stuff in the, the cold weather, weathers, and in hot weathers as well, it does really good as well. So if you're out there in the hiking or climbing the mountains in a really nice sunny day and it's hot, this battery is gonna be the one for you to go for. And even better, like I keep saying, these two come as a pair. So what's not to love? is it's my, my essential one of my pride and joys i take pride in it i i look after it as much as i can just like with anything that you have anyway everyone should and i'm at the moment i'm actually recording in 4k 24 frames per second in wide normally i don't shoot in wide normally i shoot in super view you probably see on some of my videos and i thought i'll shoot in wide have a nice uh, you know have a nice close-up to this nice face that you've got on your screens hopefully and talk to you about the upgrade because it's it's not a big upgrade so in the gopro hero uh, 10 and the 11 they have the gp2 chip which i'm pretty sure if i'm not mistaken is the same as what phones have in them to make it really responsive and fast and quick that's what this has and when i first got the gopro 9 it was quite slow until i was using it and using it and then it felt like as i was bedding it in and using it it was really it started to pick up its speed a bit more but having the gopro Hero 11 Black with the front screen, bigger front screen, bigger back screen, bigger sensor, more things added into the camera. In just this camera itself, which is the, which initially is it's the same as the nine on the outside and the ten. It's just the number and the color and is just different. That's it. But essentially, it is the same on the outside. So with everything actually in the camera, it needs a faster processor to make it a lot quicker. If that makes any sense. So, I'm now on the Hero 11, which is 4K, 24 frames per second, and wide. Just like this one was. But the only really massive difference is 10-bit colour, which is now on the Hero 11. But on this, it wasn't. So, the 10-bit colour, which is not actually on now as I'm recording it, the 10-bit colour brings it more to life and brings more realism to your shot and just colour grades everything a lot more and a lot better. So, 10-bit colour is now on. You might not notice a difference too much, but for me who's been using the 9 in person and now using the 11 with 10 bit colour, I do notice a difference on flowers, on like plants and stuff around, on wood as well, on trees, on colours. I mean there's a bench just over there, a blue and green uh, bench, I don't know why that's there but for some reason it is, but you'll notice it on there as well and in the sky as well you'll notice so in the sky you'll see that the colors stretch further and, sh and further back which you that's what you'd see in real life but at, on the action camera you're not going to see that but that's where 10 bit color comes in is that you're going to see the colors stretch further and further and further back just like you're looking at it in real life if that makes any sense hopefully it does however 
one thing I nearly forgot was the new aspect ratio. With the bigger sensor comes bigger aspect ratio. So I'm now in 4K, 60 frames per second, only in wide, because it's only what's it, it's only available in wide. But I'm now at 8.7. So the the video looks like I'm in super view, but I'm in wide, but it crops so much in and it zooms so much more out, if that makes any sense. That's the new aspect ratio. So anything to do with surfing, biking, driving, skiing, swimming it's going to be really good for that so that's the 8x7 aspect ratio on the new gopro 11 and it's quite impressive actually and i think we have to talk about the new stabilization in the camera as well which is quite impressive i mean the stabilization is just getting better and better and better isn't it in gopros and i, I do you like that i'm wearing a gopro t-shirt and my gopro hat eh? and i'm filming with a gopro and i'm filming a youtube video reviewing a gopro that was with a gopro filming another gopro if that makes any sense. So the stabilization in the GoPro Hero 9, the one I had, was only 3.0. So 3.0, so the stabilizations first came out in the Hero 7, so for all the people out there that have got the Hero 7s, which I know some people do, and I know one person does in person, that's definitely be watching this. I know you're watching. Run and, or you'd be running, and you wouldn't see much of a jog. I mean, you're not gonna see much of a, a, a movement in this because the stabilization's on on my 11, but it does take away the resolution, and that's what people don't understand, and that's what I found out. So when I found that out, I was like, mm, no, turn that off. Get the gimbal on it as well, which a gimbal helps massively, and you're getting the full quality resolution in that your camera can produce, especially with a larger sensor with the GoPro Hero 11. So you're gonna want that in you, really. So it's got a five, 0.0 stabilization for the Hero 11. I'm going to test it out for you as well, so don't worry. So we're going to be in, a, we're going to extend the selfie stick a bit more. I'm going to put that right on a bit more. So you can now see me. I'm now going to run with the GoPro and I'm going to get out of breath. So you have to give me like 20 minutes after I record this clip. I'm going to start running. So hopefully that is quite stable enough for you. And hopefully my hat don't fall off as well. But going down a hill as well. That should be quite stable. It feels like my hat's gonna fall off. <laughs> but now that you know, now that you understand that it's really stable and it's getting better and better and better. But remember, if you're gonna use the stabilization, you're not gonna get the most uh, quality and resolution out of your content. So, so I mentioned earlier that I'm recording in wide. Normally, I record in super view on my Hero uh, Nine. In other YouTube videos where I've been here which is, this is the place where I normally record my videos because it's peaceful and there's no one around. So no one can call me a weirdo for talking to something that's not gonna to talk to me back. But with the Hero 11, we're going one up. So this is wide. Now this is super view. This is what most people would do. You know, this is what most people would use, super view. It's not too far back. It's not too close unless I bring it close, but then you can see everything around at the back of me is so like far away, so it looks weird. And review so normally you'd be holding it out arm's length like i am now 4k 24 frames per second still 10 bit color is still on and its sharpness is high and color is on natural which is a new thing that they've added but it's a super view it's it's fairly it's not it's, it's good you know it's good don't get me wrong but however gopro have said you know what we're gonna one up it as well again this year not only are we gonna put five uh, stabilization 5.0 not only are we gonna put 10 bit color on not only are we gonna have uh, more color options as well for natural vibrant and flat i think it's starting to rain but we're also going to put hyperview on the go so that i'm now in hyperview this is the, this is the biggest and the longest zoom field of view that you can have on a gopro how mad is this i mean look how much of my arm more you can see you can probably see the tattoos on my arm as well but this is absolutely mental absolutely crazy i mean it blows my mind that i look back on it on the video and stuff and it just looks mental look this is just ridiculous. How can a GoPro have a field of view this big? It really does blow your mind. And a bigger field of view, the more that time goes on. It's crazy. However, you do end up risking a little bit with hyperview. So normally, if you're someone like me that likes to record 4K24, and you like to jump to 60 frames per second, every now and then to slow bits down, you uh, can't feel uh, record in 24 frames per second anymore. You can only record in 4K 60, 5.3K 30, and 5.3K 60, I believe. So you are sacrificing a load of other options for your uh, quality and frames per second for using Hyperview. But I mean, 5.3K 
60 for Hyperview. That's really good. I'm not in it at the moment, but you know what? We'll jump to it and let's have a look. Uh, sorry, I got it wrong. It's 5.3K 24 frames per second and 5.3K 30. No 60 yet, but that, 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 will be, that will be soon. Don't worry. So I'm now in 5.3K 30. I never really recorded in 5K. Even on my GoPro Hero 11 that's in my pocket, I never re really recorded in 5K. I just, I don't know, I just never really did. I did a little bit, but not a lot. But I don't know if you'll be able to notice a difference or not, or more, especially as 10-bit color is still on. 5.3K with 10-bit color. That's that's absolutely insane. That is mental. So yeah, hopefully you can still notice a, um, a little bit of a difference or so. If you, we might be able to see a bit of a difference, you know, you might be able to spoil it a little bit with your, with your, you know, with your camera eye. But general people probably won't be able to see a difference, or probably you don't even care. So, but yeah, this is absolutely crazy. This is really cool. So I know what you're thinking. Why are you standing on the bench? Why are you so high up? So the GoPro Hero 11 has 4K, 4K, 120 frames per second. Like, what the hell? What is going on? 4K 120 in super view. It's nuts. Honestly, I'm blown away. I'm not saying it just for the video. I'm actually, I actually am. It's, it's crazy. So, and that means I can have 4K, your normal recording quality these days, that you see on TVs, phones, iPads, you know, MacBooks and all this sort of stuff. It normally is 4K and up. So 4K 120, which means I can slow stuff down when I, like, I can slow stuff down so much, it's crazy, like this. I mean, that was cool when it was slowed down, weren't it? Don't say it worked, because that was. So, and the GoPro also has 2.7K, which is what I'm in now, 240 frames per second, 240 frames per second in super view, which means I can slow things down just like I've done then in 4K 120, but I can only go wide on 2.7K 240, but it means I can slow stuff down so slow that it ends up being like this. A bit like that. That's crazy. And everything in this video has been recorded using just a standard microphone coming from the GoPro. So there's no media mod, there's no external microphone coming from the media mod, there's no like 500 pound setup somewhere, you know. This, this is literally just a standard audio from the GoPro. I'm now in 4K, 60 frames per second in wide. That's what makes it so fun and so good to use. You don't need so you don't need to put 500 pounds set up on the GoPro. You can use a normal the normal uh, audio sorry coming from the GoPro. Put the media mod if you want. Yeah, I don't get me wrong. I'm going to put the media mod on in future videos and stuff like that as well. But you can have the normal audio coming from the GoPro. You can talk to it like a weirdo like I do, <laughs> and you can just make a video how you want and the GoPro is so flexible in doing the things that you want it to do. I love the way that the GoPro is as it is and yeah it's just it's just good. So is it worth it getting an upgrade from the 9 to the 11? I think so. I really do. I do think it is. Some people eh, probably not but it depends how much and how much you use the camera. So I'm now in 4K60 in linear plus horizon leveling. So which means it does the same thing that the max lens mod does. It just brings the view in a lot closer. So I can still turn it upside down and it still works. I can do a full rotation of the camera and it still keeps it the horizon level. So again it is just getting better and better in it really um, but this is where we're going to end this video here hopefully you did enjoy if there's anything i did miss in the um about the 11 that you are that you use an 11 yourself then let me know in the comments below if there's anything you want to see with the 11 any 
you know, I'm gonna be doing loads of other stuff with the 11 and stuff, you know, just making one I'm out and about on my own, chilling out, you know, doing some photography and photos and everything. I'm not an expert, by the way, but I'm gonna be doing it anyway, because I like to. Oh, I just broke a stick that sounded like my ankle. And yeah, make sure to tap the bell, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And if you're not new, but you haven't subscribed, then what are you doing? Make sure to subscribe anyway. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'm so grateful to have the 11. It's a great, great gadget, bit of kit, it really is. Especially when you use it in the way that you like using it. And yeah, it's amazing. And by the way, the front lens is actually water repellent as well. So there's no uh, licking the screen anything anymore. The 10 and the, and the 11 come water repellent. So for all the surfers out there, it, it just gets better and better, don't it? It really is an impressive camera go around. But hopefully you did enjoy it. It's good to be back and it's good to see you a lot. Hopefully you did enjoy it and make sure to do everything as I said before and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.